Success tastes sweeter when people can gnash their teeth and wonder, how did you get there? He says, rule thou in the midst of your enemies. <laughs> it takes power to rule. And I'm praying tonight, uh, this empowerment service, that as the word of God is going forth tonight, that you receive divine empowerment. You are welcome to a great moment in destiny. God is about to speak directly to you. And the message coming right up is crafted by heaven, not just to challenge you, but to align your destiny. As you embrace divine instruction, expect that God's word is bringing about revival, healing, restoration, and transformation to your entire life. With faith in your heart and great expectation, Join me and receive God's word through his choice vessel, Goodheart Obi Ekweme. Can you lift your hand to Abba Father tonight and bless him? It is an honor to stand before the King of Kings. It is a privilege to come boldly to the throne of grace, to obtain mercy, find grace and help in the time of need. I don't know about you, but I need him. I need his intervention. I need his interception. Ilonute, Tikrita, release your prayer language for 30 seconds if you can. Banonus kubrakute de balahandia. Shata para badayate. Bono nene seke tike. Blononos katayete. Bokune tapa. Release mysteries. Release mysterion. Then on Nikita, things are changing around you. Lomonete, brukatila, brakatola. Honey is coming from the rock. Shalemone separati. Dikrian devos. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' wondrous name, we have worship. Deuteronomy 29 verse 29 and we'll go to Deuteronomy 30 19 and 20 as a companion text. The secret things belong unto the Lord but those things which are revealed they belong unto us and to our children forever hmm. ah, yeah, yeah. that we may do all the words of this law that we may do so they are revealed to us and they belong to us so we're empowered to do them Deuteronomy 30, 19, and 20. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, you choose life because you have the power to choose. That both thou and thy seed may live. That thou mayest love the Lord thy God. And that thou mayest obey his voice. Obey his voice. And that thou mayest cleave unto him. For he is thy life. And the length of thy days. That thou mayest dwell. In the land where the Lord swear unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them. And Simon, this beautiful night, the blessings of the depth of God. The blessings of the depths of God. Our Father, we lift our voice and our heart yet again to thank you for the privilege of access 
for the open heavens this ministry this church has enjoyed in many years but in particular in this conference we bless you for every word released for every prophecy every grace activated we'll give you the praise tonight again i beseech you to take a coal of fire from the altar of heaven anoint the lips and the tongues of clay of your seven son that tonight I will come as one sent indeed, speaking, thus said the Lord. Move every man, woman, boy, girl in this room and the people across the nations. From where we are to the place you've reserved for us in destiny. With us always at the praise, the glory and the honor will be yours and yours alone. In Jesus' wondrous name we pray. Somebody shout a big amen. Please be seated very comfortably in God's wonderful presence. As I prayerfully considered what particular word the Lord will place upon my lips and my heart to complement to the many great teachings the Lord has brought our way in the past four days in this conference, I was um, conflicted between many thoughts realize the theme of this conference is the depths of God and I wanted to address that realize also that my assignment tonight was honey from the rock I wanted to address that also but also realize that our man of God desired and I believe by the spirit that tonight will be an empowerment service I desire to address that. And as I waited upon the Lord, he began to give me a clear roadmap as to how to journey. And by the grace of God tonight, I will attempt to speak to you in four segments or portions. We'll look at the empowerment. We'll look at honey from the rock. We'll look at the depths of God. But we'll also look at something perhaps I may not have been asked to address but by inspiration I believe it is a very key for you to enjoy honey from the rock. That is obedience. Saints, we live in a very wicked world. The Bible declares in 1 John 5 19 that the entire world lies in wickedness. Wickedness abounds and abides in the day and age we live in today. Mm. It is not enough to be just a professing Christian. You said the sinner's prayer. <laughs> Whilst that is commendable because when you did, you switched camps. The Bible declares you were delivered from the kingdom of darkness. And you became translated into the kingdom of his dear son when you became born again. It's a reality. But I've seen many born again believers suffer, sick, diseased, infirmed, face delays, face denials. So I realize it's more than just accepting Christ. It's important to know who you are in Christ. Because if you are born again and don't realize what happened to you, the Bible says, as a matter of fact, you will suffer like the wicked suffer. You say, what scripture? I'll give you Bible. Psalm 49, 20 says that a man who is put in honor but does not know it is in honor. He's born again. He's a church goer. But does not know it. He will suffer. I'm paraphrasing now. Just like a man who is dishonored. So it takes knowledge. To really actualize the blessings of your salvation experience. So Jesus said in John 8.31. To believers. Quote unquote. Who believe. So you shall continue. Uh, if you continue. So they began somewhere. If you continue in my word, you will then know the truth. And the truth you now know, hello somebody, 
will be an instrument for your delivery or your salvation. <laughs> so what saves is not just the word, but the word believed. Are you here? Oh, I'll give you Bible. Hebrews 4 2 speaks about a category of people who receive the self same word spoken to everybody, but they fail, I should take a malahanda, to mix the word spoken with something called faith. Ah, yeah, Tano, take it. Same church, same company, same word, same preacher, same choir. But the only difference is some mix the word spoken with faith and they got the result and they entered Canaan. Saints, we need to be empowered. We need to be empowered. The Bible declares in Daniel 11.32 that they that do know the Lord their God, knowledge, Shotokanana. They, Maluska, that do know the Lord their God shall be strong, <laughs> resultant of the strength that came by knowledge, they begin to do exploits. Makote Palana. Your life is designed to be a sign and a wonder. Whether is the result is another question to be answered. But were you designed, you were designed. Because the new creation experience wasn't just a refurbishment of your old sinful nature. No, sir. You became a brand new creature. The Bible declares from the moment you said yes to the Lord, all, thing, all things were passed away. All things became new and all things became of God. Hello, somebody. We need to be empowered. The Bible says in Psalm 110, 1 to 3, the Lord will send his rod, word, out of Zion <laughs> and resultant from the sent word. He said, you will rule in the midst of who? Your enemies. So when you are empowered, you don't need per se to wait for your enemies to die to rule. Oh no, Kayada. Victory tastes sweeter when your enemies are alive to watch you come to the palace. There is a dimension of prayer that says, let my enemies fall down and die. But I want my enemies to live to see what God will do again in my life. The Bible declares in Acts 10 44, I believe that whilst Apostle Peter was yet speaking the word, the Bible declares, and the Holy Ghost fell. I believe tonight that the endowment of the power of the Holy Ghost is coming upon you tonight. Shout a big amen. Jesus said to the disciples, Don't go in a hurry to preach. You, you tarry in Jerusalem. <laughs> because the world is a wicked place tarry why until you be endued with power and the bible declares in acts 1 8 and the power came upon them and those who were once lily livered cowards afraid the bible declares they became witnesses of jesus in jerusalem in judea in samaria and the uttermost part of the world the empowerment of the holy ghost takes you from being a local champion to becoming a global champion may the hand of god come upon you tonight and make you a global champion from Jerusalem to Judea, Samaria, and then what? The uttermost part of the world. Shout a big amen. <laughs> Empowerment. Because the world is wicked. <laughs> we are not magnifying the strength of devils and demons, but they exist. <laughs> and if you don't know how to subdue them, they will terrorize you. It takes power. Empowerment. Saints, oftentimes 
what God will pour into your vessel is determined by the size of your container. I have news for you today. As far as you can expect God to visit you tonight in this meeting, as the Lord liveth, he will visit you. The question is, what is the size of your container? The expectation of the just, the Bible says, will not be cut short. So expectation is the mother of the miraculous. Question is, what is the size of your vessel? Cup size, bowl size, bucket size, jerry can size. What is the container size? Because your expectations is a determinant of what God is going to do. The Lord said to Abraham in Genesis 13, 13, 14, 14 and 15. As far as you can see, look northward, southward, eastward, westward. As far as you can see, I give unto you. I came to tell you tonight, stretch your faith. Tonight is a night of empowerment. Just about anything and everything can happen. I, I see somebody jumping up from the wheelchair. I see somebody's eyes popping open. I see somebody's ears popping open. A fatter. I see it. I see it. I see it. What do you see? The Lord said to Jeremiah, What do you see? And he said to him, Thou hast seen well. I will hasten my word to perform it. I perceive that chains are breaking tonight. I perceive that burdens are lifting tonight. I perceive that tonight shall be a night of much remembrance because of the divine encounter, divine collusion with the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout, empower me, oh God. Empower me. Cannot I tell you. It's been said that all you need is one word to change your world. One word. Not too many words. One word. And I pray tonight your own word divinely tailor made designer for you who is reaching out to you where you are now tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I decree and declare for somebody under the sound of my voice that tonight is your night of turnaround the Bible says when the Lord doth turn around the captivity of his people they shall be like them that doth dream dreams May God do something in your life between now and the last day of this year that will make your dream become a reality. Somebody shout amen like a thunder. Empowerment. We need to be empowered. And one way the Lord empowers his people is through the vehicle of his sent word. Number one, number two, through the release of his spirit. The Holy Spirit. You know, as we talk about empowerment, let me titillate your mind a little bit. Mm. Mm. Jesus, speaking in John 10, 34 to 35, he says, to him, if you like to she, whom the word of God came to, He says, is it not written in your law? I said, you are gods. All right. He says, if he called them gods, unto whom, please listen, unto whom, uh, yeah, the word of God came, uh, yeah, and the scripture <laughs> cannot be broken. This is red letter. I'm not quoting out of context. Am I correct? It's there. And by the way, for your information, Jesus wasn't just speaking out of his mind. He was quoting a scripture in Psalm 82 verse 6. Correct. Praise the Lord. Bible students, praise God. It says, if he called them gods, God, small g, gods, unto whom the word of God came, <laughs> and the scripture cannot be broken. 
Then we go to where he quoted from, Psalm 82, 6 to 7. Ah, yeah. I have said, you are gods. And all of you are children of the Most High. But, say but. You shall die like men or mere men. And fall like one of the princes. The question is, why will you be called gods and die like a mere man? I will tell you why. Psalm 49, 20. Man that is in honor, if you like, as a god. And does not understand it. Are you here? Is like the beasts that what? Perish. Now, just suppose Psalm 82, 6 and 7 and Psalm 4, 9, 20, you can see something there. That yes, you are called a God, but you don't know it. So the result is you perish. You die like the beast of the field. But Jesus was telling us something in the New Testament. Aya, aya. That he called them gods. Hey. Whom the word came to. So the maker of men into God is what? The word. There are words you receive regarding healing, divine health. You receive it. You become a God in that area. There are words you receive regarding marriage. You become a God in that area. <laughs> there are words you receive regarding finances. The word. It makes you a God in that area. It's not make-believe. No, sir. Light produces Godship in you. Light, light, light is to the eyes. We fast for cars and houses. The one thing we should fast that will produce everything else is for light. Light. You can't have light and be broke. You can't have light and die prematurely. You can't have light and be sick. You can't have light and be down. Why? Light is to the eyes. Light dispels darkness. The entrance of the word gives a light, gives understanding to the simple. What you need is a light. Light will make a ruler out of you. Light will make a true God out of you. Your word becomes born because you know you're in the God class. Somebody shall light. Light. Light is sweet to the eyes. So you are the fountain of life. In your light we see light. Go for light. Somebody once said, there are no mountains anywhere. Every man's mountain is traceable to their own ignorance. IG. <laughs> All this going from mountain to valley, prayer house, but no, you're, 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 you're an altar. You're meant to be a mobile altar. When you move, that's an altar moving there. You're meant to be a solution provider, not a trouble, not a trouble not a solution seeker. Trouble, no, you're meant to be a solution provider as the carrier of light. Somebody shall I receive the light? Empowerment. You know what he said to Moses, sir? <laughs> Exodus 7 1. He said to Moses, Lacune Tagada Shubele. And the Lord said unto Moses, See, see, I have made thee a God. Small Jew, before we enter error, small Jew, a God to Pharaoh. And Aaron, thy brother, shall be thy prophet. See, he has made you a God. Over this Nigerian palava. <laughs> a friend of mine was supposed to come into Nigeria next few days, my wife's 50th birthday, and we're on the phone. He said, Man of God, I hear, I hear, I hear, I hear. I said, Well, what about you here? Like, said, oh, we there here. Where I won't go. Where I won't run. We're too many. We there here. I said, If you know if you come, make you stay there. Eh? Light. 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 By 
like the light coming out of the body of Christ, this evil news of the sound of war and terrorism, it is busted completely. We push it back to hell where it came from. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare peace upon our borders. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the hunter become the hunted. Let the terrorists be terrorized by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Oh God, we release blood bombs into the camp of the wicked. He that rose a stone, let it be rolled back to them. They come one way, they must flee seven ways. Shout yes, 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 yes. Light. And no go no tete. Oh, Kuma. Number two. Honey from the rock. Deuteronomy 32 verse 13. He made him ride on the high places of the earth. That sounds like you there. I, I see you ride upon the high places of the earth. You are above, not beneath. You are on top, not below. Somebody shout, yes, 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 yes. The Lord makes you to ride upon his high places. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Above sorrow, above fears, above tears, above worry. <laughs> high places. Bible declares that he might eat <laughs> the increase of the field. And he made him to suck honey <laughs> out of the rock and oil out of the flinty rock. Please, please, please think with me. Let's not just read the scriptures and not think the scriptures. How can a human being suck honey from a rock? Honey from a rock. Ah, that's a mystery. That's a miracle. Number one, honey is produced by bees. A rock has no business with honey. What is honey? In the scriptures, evidently it speaks of sweetness. It speaks of prosperity, abundance. He speaks of that which is pleasant. The Bible begins to describe the word of God many times to be comparable to honey. Not just that, to be sweeter than honey. Psalm 19.10 says, More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. That's the word of God. Hmm. Psalm 119 verse 103 says, How sweet are thy words unto my taste. Yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. That's the word of God. Liken unto honey. If bees make honey, it is unusual for you to find honey from the rock. It must mean that God is telling us something. Ah, yeah. <laughs> that for the covenant child. The rule of engagement is different. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. What people run from you run to and you eat there. The fire that people are running from you run there. To get what? Honey from the rock. It's a mystery. It's a miracle. Why? Our God is the God of all possibilities. The Bible tells us in the journey of the children of Israel in the wilderness, it came a point in time that God graciously, mercifully brought water from the rock. Water from the rock. What is the connection with water and rock? No connection. It seems to me that God is saying to me and to you that he said to do that 
which does not make sense in our lives that will cause you and I to be a public spectacle for good. May God do something in your life that will cause men to say, aha, aha, this one oh, is the doing of the Lord. Ah, water from the rock. How do you build a house in a Nigeria of today? How do you marry without boring in a Nigeria of today? How do you engage on missions when people are closing down? COVID-19, you're expanding honey from the rock. Elune, take it, take it, take it, take it. May somebody who has faith tonight, may God in his mercy cause honey to flow out of your own rock. May God do for you that which is known as impossible in the eyes of men. Sudden liftings, sudden promotions, sudden shiftings, sudden turnaround. Why honey is coming from the rock. You can't explain. You see, if your testimony is explainable, it's always one measure, it's one level. Or more, there's some testimonies you can't explain. Sir, with all humility, with all humility, I can't explain how GPPA is on 27 radio stations. Not Facebook. Free. Instagram, free. Honestly, I can't explain. Live airtime is for years. I can't explain. I can only say, honey is coming from the rock. Higher, higher. Can you lift your hand and talk to your way for 30 seconds? Oh God, my God, I believe you are able to bring out honey from the rock for me. Pray in the Holy Ghost for one minute. How your enemies will pay your bill. He said you drink of vineyards you've not planted. You live in houses you haven't built. That sounds to me like honey from the rock. My Lord, you live as though you're not in this economy. Why? Honey from the rock. 30 more seconds, please, your faith. Shut up. To he that believeth. All things are possible. Including your faith. Somebody's womb is open under these open heavens now. What was said to be impossible, I tell you. You go back to the doctor, that cancer is dried. By fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. is a night of divine encounters. Open your mouth and receive it. Receive it for yourself. Receive it for yourself. Receive it. There is a blessing with your name on it. Receive it. Receive it. In the dead that the hand of God came upon Elijah. He outran the chariots. May the hand of God come upon you. Sudden liftings. Sudden shiftings. Sudden turnaround. Sudden healings. Sudden breakthroughs. I believe it for you. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is able to help you defy natural laws. Suspend the law of demand and supply for you. The prophet said by this time tomorrow. By this time tomorrow. Boko Haram is dead. By this time. Don't despise genuine prophets when they speak. By this time. The minister of agriculture said, Ah, it can't happen now. Look at Nigeria. Law and demand. No, no. He said, you will see. No, go May we not be unbelievers. May we believe every prophecy spoken over our nation, Nigeria. It's a trigger of revival from Africa to the nation of the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear this. Job 5.22 hmm. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. Honey from the rock. Thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid. Nigerians will not be afraid of the beasts of the earth. You walk on the streets of Abuja and Nigeria knowing fully well you're too defended, too 
blessed to be stressed, too defended to be harassed. Why? They say, touch not seed of God upon your life. You may not see it. In the spirit realm, it's clear. Touch not. Touch not. Touch not. Touch not. Touch not. By the blood sacrifice of Jesus, we engage, we activate, we deploy the touch not seed of God upon our lives as covenant children of covenant keeping God. Touch not. Touch not. A thousand falls by our sides. And ten thousand, our right hand side, with our eyes only, we see the reward of the wicked. They will gnash their teeth as they see us rise. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout, Amen, like a thunder. Give me three fire baptized hallelujahs. Hallelujah. Come on, church. Clap your hands, all ye saints. Shout, shout, shout to your God with the voice of triumph. He warned you. Shout, shout, shout. Say, shout to your God with the voice of triumph. Hallelujah. Shalom alene. Guess what? That rock, sir, ma, is a personality. It's not Rocco. First Corinthians 10, verse 4. On my Bible, sweet. And did all drink the same spiritual drink? Hmm. For they drank of that spiritual rock. It's a personal that followed them. That rock was Christ. Christ is not his second name. He means the anointed one. Huh? Here you are. He was with them. As they were joining A to B to C, he was with. The rock is with us. The rock is with us. Men may not see it, but we know it. Jeremiah 20, 11. The Lord is with you as a mighty terrible one. So therefore, your persecutors, they will stumble. They will not prevail. They will not succeed. Why? The rock is with us. He's Christ. The anointed and his anointing is with me. Kono Sakatile. Romans 8, 31. If God be for you. The rock is with me. The rock is with you. From that rock, we're sucking water. We're sucking honey. That dumbfounds our enemies, our foes, and our peers. May God do something in your life that will be a surprise to your neighbors. If you shout amen, it's coming your way. If your amen is louder, it's coming your way. Lack of thunder. Shout amen. Glory to God. Sit down, we're just talking. Number three, the depths of God. Hmm. Incidentally, in our church family, I've been teaching a series on intimacy. If you will, please, with the permission of your pastor, go online. Look out for my series called A Clarion Call to Intimacy. The fear of the Lord. The key to intimacy. All there online. Facebook, YouTube's there. But I, I will mention about the depth of God. That this, this thought that your man of God downloaded from God as the theme of the conference. It, 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 it so, so resonates with my heart. I can't even say it all. You don't, you, don't, you don't know what that means. The depths of God. Oh, yeah. So number one, God has depths. And the thing about God is this. Please, I want to teach for five, seven minutes. Clearly and distinctly by the help of God. Number one, number one, number one, number one, number one. The Lord relates to everybody based on how they respond to his invitation to come to him. Track with me. 
Hebrews 4.16, write down. Come boldly to the throne of grace. Obtain mercy. Grace in the time of need. So there is an invitation to come. Matthew 11, 28, 29. Come unto me. All you that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Second invitation, number three. James 4, 8. You draw near to me and I will draw near to you. So, our God ay, 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 has invited us to draw near. Hmm. Track with me. And you may think that the level of intimacy you will enjoy with God is going to be determined by how much God makes available to you. You're wrong. You're wrong. No, sir. The degree, oh boy, of your intimacy with God is determined by how much you hunger for him and how much you press for him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You see, in the scriptures, you read about men and women who encountered God in their generation. The likes of Enoch, who walked with God in perpetual fellowship. The Bible says he was no more because God took him. Can you imagine God enjoying the company of a human being so much? That he took him to continue beyond time into eternity. May our lives please God so much that we are capable by him. Enoch walked with God. It's one thing to work for God. W-O-R-K. But the higher level is are you walking with God? If all you do is to work without walk, you get tired like May Martha did. But if you learn to walk, enjoy intimacy, then working will not tire you. Working becomes a part of worship. Walk before work. Mary before Martha. David, a man after God's heart, Shanto Palakata. The Bible declares in Acts 13, 23, 24, there about, it says, I have found me a man, David, after my heart. The Bible really says, and God testified, hey, hey, I wish I had time. Do you know what it means, sir? For God to testify. I mean, you can come to the altar. Say, oh, my, my daddy, today this happened. Say, praise the Lord. The Lord did say, amen. So we are testifying of what God is doing in our lives. But the Bible says, God testified about David. A man after my heart. God testified about Job. He brag to Satan. Have you seen my boy Job? Can God brag about us? That he can depend on us in the fire will not compromise. Brock, house rent due. Alhaji Sule is offering you five million for a one night stand. Can you stand? It seems easy when you're not under pressure. But under pressure, who you are, what you got comes out. Press a bottle of coke, come coke comes out. Press water, it, what you got will show under pressure. <laughs> what you got, you may say never right now. You ain't seen pressure just yet. Never say never in a hurry. Bishops, pope, pastors, deacon, apostle, don't be in a hurry. Say never. I can never fall. Then you're with your, your daughter at midnight. You're counseling. Never fall. May the Lord have mercy upon you. That's a recipe for disaster. Take heed. Lest you fall. Huh. How did I get here? Well, to let you know we need God. We don't stand by our power. I've been married for 25 years. I ain't seen no girl. I don't plan to. Is it my power? No, sir. Jesus did it. When I say, it's me that you know, people like us, we don't fall. Ah. Mommy be coming down. 
You talk about this pastor, this bishop. Dake, go and pray. Lest you fall. If you're standing, grace kept you, sir. Grace is keeping me, sir. A quarter of a century, one woman. I know this, you. The same soup. Banga, Bokoto, the same soup. Wait till you get there. Wait till you get there. They cannot testify like me too. 25 years, same soup. No, no change of soup. Same soup. Why are you laughing? <laughs> same soup. Uh, you hear me? The same soup. The flesh wants different original. No, it's same soup. By heaven's design, same soup. It's mana, 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 mana. Same, same. Husband said herself, her wife, yeah, same soup. We go there to we go die together, same soup. The Lord gives you wisdom to be creative with the same soup. Come on, somebody. Come on, come on, come on. Where are my sisters? Where are my brothers? Add some swagger. Add some pepper. Add some salt. Put some magic. Spice it up. Spice it up. Come on, baby. Spice it up. Hallelujah. Pastor B, you see I'm at home already, eh? This is my church. <laughs> Hallelujah. The depths of God. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, shato pero de gamole. E quantum men of safaro te kototo palahakos. I saw the Bible declares the joy of the Lord is your strength. As you maintain an attitude of joy. So he will lift you from one level to the next, to the next, to the next. And in the midst of a difficult, harsh economy and environment, men and women watch you break forth, break through because of the joy you maintained in the midst of difficulty. Father, thank you for joy. Our joy will not wane. Oh, no, 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 no. Our joy will not wane. Little Boloska, feel our joy up again. In the midst of the environment, we maintain our joy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved, write down this statement if you will, please. God is a God of everybody because he created everybody. Revelation 4, 11. All things were created by God and they were created not for your pleasure, for his pleasure. He's a creator of all. Even Satan was created. So he's a God of all. The unsaved and the saved. Hear this. But God is a father of those who have given their lives to Christ. He's a father of his children. <laughs> Jesus on a day said, you're of your father the devil. So Satan now papa of some people. Oh yes, yeah, so if they don't know Christ, that devil will be their papa. But for those who are born again, God is not just your God. God is your daddy. Whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Hiya. So when you pray, pray thus. Not our God, our Father. That word Father in Greek is pater, is a source. From him comes everything, he's your source. Abba, Father. Our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Who are you talking to? Your dada. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. You know, you may live in a house where you have some, 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 some servants that, uh, that help you. Uh, uh, whatever you want to call them. Uh, house assistant, whatever you call them. You know, they say, we they knock on your door. I have a particular lady in my house, wonderful, pleasant lady. She, she, she knocks on my door almost with trepidation. And each time she says, come in, come in now. You know, I don't know whether she feigns death or she just, I don't know what it is. But, but, but come in now. I said, don't you hear? But guess what? My son, go, go, go. My first son is here. Go, 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 go. Brum, ba. Why? Now in Papa House. I'll be first son. Papa House. Before I say, come in. Yeah, don't come in. Oh, boy, easy now. Now my house, now my bedroom. Never bounce. 
Why? His confidence of access is based on paternity. Fatherhood. God is your father. Let that sink into your spirit, man. The governor of the nations, the creator of the heavens and the earth, is your daddy. Number three, God is a friend to some. So it's possible to be a child of God, but not be a friend of God. Did you hear me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I come from a large family. The equipment family is relatively large. And we're all in different parts of the world. By virtue of distance, there's a level of intimacy you can, you can possibly forge with various brothers. But guess what? There are those who are in the faith, born again, not from the same womb, but because of proximity and intimacy, my sons here, some of them are here. I can tell you, they are more my friends than some of my brother's sisters. Is that making sense? It's true. It's true. The point is, the word friendship in the Bible is not how we loosely use it today. Everybody's your friend. Ah, my friend, my friend. No, you're calling your acquaintance your friend. A real friend is a covenant person. There's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. A past brother. Wife's husband, you can be lovers, not friends. It's dangerous. Yeah. Many, well, I don't know, I don't know, I don't have many, but some couples, they are partners. Hopefully in Christ, not in crime. Praise God. Partners, they're roommates. Yeah. They share the bills, share parenting roles, but the element of friendship never laugh. Never crack a joke. Hey, daddy, daddy, daddy. I know daddy, daddy, but you're my friend. Your wife should knock your head apart. So poop, pam, pam. It's your wife at home. In church, your papa at home. Pam, Obi, good heart. That's my friend. Bedroom, you're doing mama and papa. Hey, papa, mama, hey, yo. Kilo day. Even in the, they say, Papa, how do you want Mama? Had? <laughs> Come on, somebody shout, Hallelujah. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Pastor P, I don't know what's came over me here now. Oh boy. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's be serious with them. <laughs> oh, dear, 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 dear. <laughs> somebody give me three fire eyes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, citizens. Clap your hands. Shout to your God with a voice of triumph. Hallelujah. Psalm 25, 14. Oh boy. <laughs> Daddy, mama. Oh yeah. And you have four children. Is that right? Daddy, mama. How did they come about? Daddy, mama. No way, man. That's not daddy mama. You are doing something, man. You are doing something, not daddy mama. No, no, no. You are doing something. It's called intimacy. All the children close your ears. Intimacy. Intimacy. Psalm 25, verse 14. All right. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. And he will show them what? His covenant. Now, please listen to NLT. Then we'll just suppose the two versions. NLT, same version, same scripture. Psalm 2514, NLT. The Lord is a friend. Hello? So God can be a friend? Yeah. A friend to those who fear him or love him. He teaches them his covenant. Okay. So the Lord is your friend as you love him. As you express, listen carefully, reverential fear. Reverential fear is one of the keys to intimacy with God. All right, it's important. God cannot be your, your paddy. You know, when in modern day and age, that is, it's frightening how we treat God. 
Things we won't do before the a heading of the country, we'll do before God. We'll move from Instagram to Facebook to blah 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 blah. Under one service, the word is going for who? Like, follow, like. Ah! What? Follow, like, follow. It's something this modern day and age, we need to speak to ourselves if his glory is going to come. If we don't begin to teach reverential fear to this modern day church, we will not see the glory. If we do, it will come with judgment. Do you hear me? Oh Lord. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why you've not seen a clear case of Ananias and Sapphira is because the glory hasn't come as it should come. Hmm. If it comes now, we'll see more cases of Ananias and Sapphira. So is the mercy of God momentarily withholding? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Waiting for the church to get ready to clean up her act. One thing is reverence. The word is going on. It's not time to run up and down like a rat. No, sit down. Out of the word. When the king of kings speaks, we ought to express honor and reverence. And it begins with small things that don't seem like they, they matter. Man of God, you're too, you're too legal. Legal? No, sir. What you can do before a governor you're doing for God is not right. Praise the Lord. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. All right. But he says, the Lord is a friend of those that fear him. So, two plus two is four, right? Thank you. So, we read in Deuteronomy a moment ago, ah, yeah, yeah. the secret things belong to God. Am I correct? And the things that are revealed, ah, yeah, they belong to us, number one, and to our children. Hmm. That means nothing is accessed to be concrete. It's spiritual. You're blessed with every spiritual blessings in heaven places. Ephesians 1 3. But it's not accessed until it is revealed. Aya, aya. So when it is revealed, we take custody of them. Not just that, but the revealed things God gives us becomes transgenerational. So there are realms you're walking in today with your God that affects your children. Oh man. They are famous. My children will walk into just because they're my children. There are doors that open up to me because of my parentage. Are you Alex Equipment's first son for real? It gives somebody a little hearing. Name. Why? The man trafficked in some realms of integrity and character. So, it's a good name. Better than money or gold or silver. Likewise, as believers, there are ways we work with God, for God, we make our next generation oh yeah, fly. Listen, children, if all you did is to reach where we got to, you fail. Spiritual sons and, and, and biological, you fail. Why? Your father's ceiling should be your floor. Your father's ceiling should be your floor. That's where you start from. Oh, I believe God that my spiritual children will go beyond where I go, go in the Lord. I believe God, my biological children will go beyond where I'm able to go. Why? Otherwise they fail. Why? The way you're walking with God gives them leverage. The things that are revealed. Konata, toke, teke, teke, te. They belong to us and to our children. Why? God's blessings, they are transgenerational. The God of Abraham. The God of Isaac. The God of Jacob. Secrets belong to our God. Number four. 
Hallelujah. Obedience. Obedience. You want to see honey from the rock? Hey, I wish I had time. This is the, the, the main domain. Honestly, obedience. The Lord began to download to me about this issue of obedience. Hiya. You know, there are two categories of people on the earth today. Hmm. Those who are walking in obedience and those who are walking in disobedience. <laughs> Isaiah 119 declares, 1819, if you are willing and obedient, I hope you're obedient by the way, my eyes are red. I ain't joking, man. You better be obedient. You better be. Whatever that means to you. I will send you to some beast of forest. Seven years of this hell? No, 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 no. All right. If you're willing. I'm quoting the scripture, right? Obedient. <laughs> you will eat the good of the land. All right. But he says something there. If you disobey, listen carefully, and rebel. So therefore, there are two sides of the coin. Willing and obedient. And what? Rebel and disobey. Aha. Uh -huh. So whenever we find ourselves in disobedience as far as God is concerned we are rebelling. It is said that your blessings please listen carefully they are on the other side of your what? Obedience. Higher, 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 higher. There's something about God placing a demand for obedience from his children. I'm going somewhere. We began the journey by seeing that God designed to create us in what we now know to be in the God class with a small g. <laughs> the triune God at a conference. Let us. <laughs> because our God is a relational God. Let us. Make man in our image and our likeness. And guess what? God put them in the Garden of Eden. Listen carefully. Don't miss this now. And God planted many trees. Oh, yeah. Many trees that Adam and Eve could eat from. But there was one tree that he said, This one, bam, 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 bam. It is a tree, hear this now, hear this now, of the knowledge of good and evil. <laughs> Not good and evil, knowledge of it. You know, Pastor Petro, if I was God, if I was, if I was, and I'm not, I'll never be. If I was, and I made Adam and Eve, I would tell them, oh boy, you don't get a choice. You must, you can't even choose this dirty tree so that you won't fall. If I'm God, if I was God, I'll preserve my, 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 my look alike, image, likeness. You know, go follow. You, you, know, you know if you choose them. You know what I'm saying? Do, do you feel like, you feel like me? To be a good parent, you can't choose error. No, you don't have the choice. You know what? If God did that, then Adam and Eve will not be in the God class. It is your choice that elevates you to the status of the God class. That's why he says, I, God, present to you again, oh, life and death, good and evil. I will do. Oh, I'm campaigning. I'm campaigning that you will choose what? Good. And life and live. Hey. <laughs> so the power of choice, please listen, is the power that takes men to either heaven or hell. Anybody who goes to hell 
after hearing the gospel is not because the gospel did not have power to save. They made a choice. Hi. I, I, may the Lord give us understanding. May he give us understanding. And it says, oh, help me, Lord. 29 to 9, do you know what I mean? It says, the things that are revealed are revealed so they can belong to you and to your children. He says, so that you may do them. 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 <laughs> so, revelation ah, yeah, is not given to enlighten you alone or to take water, honey from the rock alone. Hmm. It is revealed to you so that you are empowered to do it. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You see, God is looking for those who obey him. I wish I had time. The difference between Saul and David was Saul voluntarily disobeyed God and lost out from the throne. David made his own mistakes, but there was a sense of willingness to get back on the road. Saul said, cover me before the people. I want, to, I want them to make I want to look good before them. Don't worry. But David was more interested in how he looked before God. He says, take not away your Holy Spirit. So God, forgive, forgive me, forgive me. He was in a hurry to make peace with God. But Saul was in a hurry to make peace with men. Let me look like a good king, even though I've fallen. Obedience and disobedience. Jesus, in Matthew 7, please listen. 23, 4 and 5, there about. He says, when he shall come, and men shall say, Lord, Lord, to him, he will say to them, hey, um, uh, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. He says, he says, I don't know you. I don't know you. So they will say they did miracles in the name of the Lord, but God will say, I don't know you. In other words, you did not have intimacy with me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You are on your own. You didn't obey me, you obeyed yourself. The human nature naturally does not want to obey God. Naturally a rebel. So step one to obey God, make a choice. 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 Men's choices determine their destiny. Make a choice tonight. I will obey God as you empower me, as you help me. Number two, spend time with the word. The word of God is food. To the spirit man, Matthew 4 4. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth from the mouth of God. So, as you eat God's word, it strengthens your spirit to rise above the flesh. Swear. Swear. Number three, don't just read and study, meditate. Joshua 1 8. This book of the law shall not depart from your heart. Thou shalt keep them in your heart and meditate upon them day and night. That thou mayest know to do, observe to do God's word. And by so doing, you make your way prosperous. So it's by staying with the word in meditation, you have power to do the word. Number four, engage in a lifetime of prayer and fasting. You know why? The flesh needs to be weakened. The law of reciprocity. I decrease, he increases. The flesh decrees. This flesh is stubborn. Apostle Paul said, I bring my body on the subject. That's Paul. Polo, Polo, Apostle number one. I bring my body on the subject. Lest after I've done this barazan and this start thing, I don't enter hell. I'm not misquoting though. First Corinthians 9, 927. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. I bring my body under subjection. Lest having proclaimed the gospel, I become a castaway. That word castaway means disqualified, unqualified. So I bring my body on the subject. That's not, it doesn't sound like easy stuff. So one way you subdue your flesh. Moments and pockets of times of fasting with prayer. It helps to keep this body under check. Number five. Understand obedience has a price tag and a cost. Be willing. Be willing to pay the price to walk in obedience. Sometimes you lose friends. You lose money. Lose favor. Lose jobs. Opportunity. Just obey God. It's costly, but it's well worth it. Because your honey from the rock is on the other side of obedience. Rise on your feet.
I'm out of time. Rise on your feet. Shall we lift our hands to Abba Father and thank you tonight for these four things we heard tonight. The depths of God. Honey from the rock. Obedience. Will you bless him tonight? Receive grace that we will go out of this place truly empowered to do his word, to obey his word. Ask the Lord for grace not to be hearers only. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You may want to go online and hear this again and again. Have your own copy. Until it really gets into our spirits. We will become doers of the word of God. Somebody pray for one minute. We're almost there. My time is fast, but I want us to pray. Just commit these words to the Lord. Cover the words you heard with the blood of the Lamb. The enemy will not steal these precious words. It wasn't entertainment. No. Spirit and life were released to us tonight. Wrap it with faith. Mix it with faith. I'm living here change, transform. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Lord, we just give you the praise for how you've helped us in four days. We'll commit the rest of this conference to your hands. Agreeing with your son and daughter, the angels of this church, and the rest of the conference indeed will be the best of the conference. From grace to grace and glory to glory. May testimonies abound and abide on account of the encounters men and women have had from day one. Lord, thank you. Eyes closed, head bowed. I don't fail to do this. You're here, not born again. Just one minute. The same man of God, pray for me, pray with me. I want to turn my life to Jesus. You can't be under this meeting and still go to hell. No, sir. Right hand to the sky, please, where you are. You're unsure of your eternal well being. Just raise your right hand where you are very quickly. Anyone, right hand, right hand, right hand, back, front, middle, right hand. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Glory to God. Glory to God. If you're online, not born again, in simple words, invite Jesus to your heart. Ask him your words to be Lord and Savior. Turn your whole heart in submission completely to Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you. We give you praise. Father, we thank you for tonight. We honor you. Ah, Father Lord, as we leave tonight, may my face and may all that they see and have seen today not be a point to remember, but let your word remain imprinted in the hearts as indelible for all of their times here on the earth. Let these words work. Ah, yeah, yeah. In the night season, in the day season, work your restoration, healing, refreshing, renewal, and the glory remains yours alone. We're deliberate. We're quick to give you the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. You have just experienced the preaching and teaching ministry of Good Heart Obi Ekweme, lead pastor of Revival House of Glory International Church, Rajik, and the apostolic leader of the Horn of Revival Ministry, H-O-R-M, a global outreach ministry mandated to carry the torch of revival across cities and nations. If you would like to ask a question, share your prayer request or testimony, or get more messages or books from Goodheart, please call or text 0805-223-4444 or email info at rogic.org. Also, download the Horn of Revival Ministry app on Google Play or Apple Store to connect with a variety of free quality resources including Rogic Radio and our refreshing daily devotions to take you higher in life. Keep hearing the Word of God. It will produce intimacy with His Spirit for uncommon encounters on the earth.